Yesterday we received another registration for a recall committee um, to circulate a petition against Senator Jelk. Um, there was also a committee that registered as a political action committee um, to explore a recall against uh, Senator Schultz. We are almost completed with the duplicate review of the governor's petition. We only have about 1,400 names left out of 230,000. We began the review of lieutenant governors, <coughs> duplicate, uh, potential duplicate names yesterday, and so hopefully we will be cutting a, a tight deadline up to our our deadline. The majority of our local election officials are very cooperative. They want to do the right thing, and they do the right thing. But we have a small number uh, that is consistently um, non-compliant with the request, non-compliant with statutory requirements in terms of reporting. And we spend a lot of staff time begging and pleading for them to just to comply with the statutory requirements. So in regards to uh, voter ID implementation, since that's no longer in play, the legislature did give us $1.8 million to implement voter ID. So if uh, that continues to be a stay and we have savings, we'll be utilizing those funds for uh, the recall efforts. In the event that um, we can't do that, then we will have to probably reallocate some expenses for uh, the implementation for the voter ID and um, use some of the federal funds in order to offset the costs of some of the recall stuff. 